Hey guys, it's Gail with Everything Nash here with Scotty McCreary, who we've talked to so many times and loved. So thank you for joining us yet again, Scotty. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And thank you. Before we get started, you were so gracious in retweeting the stuff we write about you. So thank you very much for that. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all getting the word out there. Thank you. Okay, so we are talking about Same Truck. I listened to it this morning and I love it so much. It oh. feels like... I think I said this to you about seasons change too, but it almost feels like a 2.0 of Scotty. Do you think that's accurate? Yeah. You know, I, I think, um, I think there was definitely kid Scotty. I think there was young Scotty. And I think now where we're at is kind of the, you know, man guy, young man, Scotty and where I'm at right now. And, uh, it's, it's just life and you grow up, you know, everybody does 17 to 27 and that's just, it's where I'm at right now. Okay, 17 to 27, but you were 17 and super famous after being on Idol. So there had to have been a lot of changes through that also. Yeah, I mean, I had to, I had to grow up quick, you know, and, and learn a lot and uh, very fast. It's like drinking water out of a fire hose. And, uh, but I was young and goofy and didn't really know what I was doing. I was bagging groceries and playing baseball five months before I made my first album. So um, I, I think now I've really learned um, – what I want to say, how I want to say it, writing songs and that craft and putting a whole album together and tour, like everything. I think I've, I'm still learning, but I've got a much better handle on things now. Do you still bag your own groceries when you go to the grocery store? I do. I enjoy it. Colds with the colds, you know, toiletries with the toiletries, all that good stuff. <laughs> this surprises me about you, not at all. Okay. So if you were going to describe the album, Same Truck, how would you describe it? Yeah, you know, I think for me in the last year, um, I just had the time to really sit back and uh, reflect and think about things that are important to me. Um, really, for the first time since I was 15 or so, I had that time to do that. Um, and I think that put me in that mindset for writing some of these songs and the perspective in some of these songs. Um, it, it's to me, my previous albums were very much more looking ahead. Uh, and this one's kind of being grateful and looking back and, and taking it all in kind of album. It's, is uh, the way I look at it. And you wrote 10 of the 12, right? Am I right? Yep. 10 of the 12. Yeah. That's the most you've ever written for one of your albums, isn't it? The last record I wrote all of them, um, which I think was 12 again on that one. So it was 12 of the 12, but this one, um, I mean, I, I was writing songs left and right. We had the songs to put on there, but uh, for me, when I heard a song like damn straight, uh, immediately raised my hand and said me 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 it's such a cool song it's so cleverly written and obviously I'm a massive George Strait fan so um just sounded so much like me and the other one would have been it'll grow on you and the minute I heard that one it just took me back to where I grew up and and how I grew up um so it I believe the songs for for me to sing it I gotta believe it I gotta feel it and both of those songs did that for me what's the story behind it's one of my favorite ones if not my favorite one how you doing up there What's the story behind that one? Yeah, you know, I, I feel so lucky and blessed to be on this song with Monty and Derek. And, uh, you know, it's to me, my faith is a humongous part of my daily life. I lean on it every single day and um, pray every single day. And it, if we're being honest, most of our prayers are always asking, hey, can you do this for me? Can you do this for me? Man, I need help here, which is great. Um, but just the perspective of asking God how he's doing and like, cause you know, he's, at least I would think in the last year or so, he's just been up there shaking his head, you know, looking down at everything, all the craziness going on. So um, I just had never heard that perspective of a prayer before. And I thought it was so cool. And um, to me, it's a pretty powerful song to, to end the album with. Yeah. I'm voting for that one to be a single if my opinion counts for anything. <laughs> awesome. Well, so Absolutely. The album, I think you said in another interview, it wasn't with me, but the album was largely done before COVID. You had a lot of songs recorded before COVID. How did COVID being home, how did that impact what became Same Truck? Yeah, um, so we had a lot of an album uh, done pre-COVID and uh, I, I was excited about it. I was proud of it, but I definitely felt like there was another uh, level we could get to and um, and if we're looking for a silver lining in the last year for me as, a, as in my career, I think it gave me that time to sit back and write more songs and, and reflect on life and, and kind of where I was at in life. And we wrote a lot more songs over COVID and recorded basically a whole nother project in the middle of it all. And that's 
what you now hear with same track as the album. I think one of the songs that was going to be on that first batch of, of an album made it to this one and the rest kind of um, we had to part with, which was still tough because I love them. But I, this record is is where I'm at right now. Will we get to hear them ever? Hopefully. I mean, yeah, they're, they're still there. You know, they're still recorded. So, I mean, there might be a deluxe version or something down the line or um there's always it's it's better to have more songs and, and not enough songs, you know, so we'll, we'll have something to do with them for sure. So the song same track, is that really your American Idol truck in the video? Like, that's really it. And you're still driving that truck. Loretta. Yeah, that's my baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. Love that truck. I'll, I'll drive her to the wheels fall off. You don't have another vehicle. That's your truck. I really don't. Yeah, my wife has a forerunner, but uh yeah, that's my that's my truck. That's my baby. And uh, people ask me all the time, are you going to get a new car? Are you going to, you know, you got to buy a fancy new. I was like, no, I, I got my truck and I love it. it. It's perfect for what I need. And you said that song was important to you because we're all different, but we're all the same. Can you talk about that just a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah, I think uh, I always knew that. I always really believe that. Um, I think the last album, Seasons Change, really solidified that for me. Um, you know, putting up songs that were so personal to me, uh, like five more minutes and this is it and in between and hearing stories every single night from people on the road and every day when I'm checking my Instagram and stuff, it's messages from people telling me how much those songs mean to them because they relate to it so much. It's like, man, in a time where you hear so much divisiveness and so much differences, you know, it's um, to me, I, what I found through that last record, man, we really are all a lot more alike than we are different. We're all on the same team here. We can just build each other up instead of tear each other down. I think we'd be a lot, a lot better off. So, yeah. Also on the album, you have songs about your sweet wife Gabby, who is just precious. I just adore her. Um, how are you guys doing now? Is she back at work or is she still at home? Yeah, she's on the road with me right now, a, a good amount. So uh, she's back at home right now, and I'm, I'm, I fly back to Carolina and see her tonight. So, um, but she's doing great. We're doing great, and you know, loving life kind of back on the road somewhat right now. So we're, we're enjoying it. How are you feeling about being back on the road? Do, do you have any trepidation? Some artists are requiring vaccines. Some artists are saying, do whatever you want. What are your thoughts? I mean, we're being as safe as we can out there, you know, and I, I think so far the crowds have been great. And basically every show has been outdoors, I think for the most part. So um, it's, it's felt safe. I mean, I know things are looking a little squirrely right now, so uh, fingers across that, you know, we can get a handle on this thing, but, uh, yeah, I'm, as of right now, it's been a blast just seeing fans again, playing shows again, doing with the band again. It's, it's, it's been a good time out there. We talked about how your music has changed from the last year, but how have you changed? Uh, you know, I mean, I think we all changed a little bit over the last year. Um, uh, again, I think the way I uh, change is goes very much in line with my music and I, I write so much from just personal experience and what I live and what I love that um, you can kind of listen to my music and, and know this is how Scotty's doing today. You know, this is where he's at in life. So um, I think I got a much better uh, understanding of the little things in life, you know, make all the difference and uh, just not taking things for granted and being with family. And um, obviously a lot of us have lost, you know, some loved ones or a friend or something to this awful virus so um just puts life in perspective you know and and you know you can't take a think take a, a day for granted you talked about earlier about your faith what as a person of faith what's your message to people who are feeling afraid again right now yeah well i mean faith again is something i lean on every day and, and my faith is based on hope you know and and the hope i have in christ and and life after all this and uh you know, I just try and spread that hope to, to people every day. And, and it's, it's tough, you know, when things are so scary out there. I mean, it's, it's not an easy message to spread or to lean on, but um, I don't really know, you know, how I would have made it through this last year without that hope, if that makes sense. That's a really good answer. What do you want to do yet, Scotty? What are, what are your, this is what I hope to accomplish in my career yet? Oh, I got, I got so much. I mean, I've, I feel like, uh, I know I've been doing it, 10 years now, but I feel like I'm really just kind of getting started. It's almost like Seasons Change felt like my debut album, you know, uh, to me. So um, I got a long ways to go, whether that's, you know, 
concert wise and, and what we can headline and um, getting there and, uh, you know, Grand Ole Opry stuff and becoming a member there would be a, a huge goal of mine. And um, I don't know, being a great dad one day, you know, is another thing. So uh, personal goals. So there's a, there's a lot of goals I've, I've yet to meet, which is, which fires me up to wake up and go to work every day. I had that thought when I was listening to your album this morning, like, I feel like it has to be on the Opry, like you being an Opry member has to happen at some point. Yeah. You know, country music is, is something I've loved since I was a kid and the Grand Ole Opry is a huge part of country music history and, and why we have, you know, country music today with WSM radio and getting it out there. So um, yeah, it's a goal of mine. And uh, you know, I, I, I got to get back out there and, and play some more. It's been a little bit since we've been out there, but it's it's always a special night on the Grand Ole Opry. So potential headlining, same truck, you time, some kind of tour in 2022? Yeah. Um, yeah, Lord willing, we'll be out there. We'll definitely be playing shows and um, putting stuff together to go play the album for people. I, I love the old school way of, you know, you go out there and you play the songs that people want to hear, but just playing the album top to bottom. You know, I, I, I'm looking forward to doing that. Well, we will be there. Thank you, my friend. So good to see you. One more virtual hug. All right. Great to see you. Appreciate you.